Hello everybody, MagusX here, the Volatile Gamer. Today, let's install Minecraft 1.3 on a server for Bucket using Hamachi. Let's do it. Alright, so you're going to go to bucket.org, and you're going to go to Get Craft Bucket. You're going to see like a wiki type page, and scroll down to where you see Windows section, and then download Craft Bucket's latest build. Click on that, it should pop up. Save to Desktop because we're going to need to use that a little bit more very, very soon. Don't leave this page yet, because you're going to need the following information here for your configuration. So this is going to add a craft.bucket-1.3 blah, 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 dot jar. So go to your desktop and right-click, click New, and go to New Folder. Name it whatever you want. Okay, and we're going to put that dot jar right in the folder. Let's open that up. Now, don't actually double-click this .jar file. I promise you it probably won't work. So what you have to do now is create a .bat file to run this other file. So go to right-click anywhere is on this uh, empty screen here. Go to New, Text Document, and you can name that Run, Server, Launch, whatever you like. It doesn't matter at this point because we're going to open it up and we're going to bring in some stuff. We're going to save it as a .bat file too, and that's important. So let's put that like so. Alright, so here's a little bit of information on Java. If you have a 64-bit operating system, you're going to have to have Java 7, 32, and 64 installed. If you don't have any Java installed, by the way, none of this will work. So to check what your actual system is, just go to Computer here, Properties, and then you'll see right here, System Type, and it's rather 32 or 64. And if you have a 32-bit, you only get the 32-bit one, okay? So... If you have 64, once again, get both. And I'll leave a link in the description for those downloads. I'm not going to go there right now because I already have it installed and it takes a while. But get those installed before you do anything further, okay? You go ahead and pause the video, get that done. I'll be right here when you're back. Okay, so what you're going to do now in this .txt that we got going is you're going to copy this code right on over. Now, this code will not work on its own. Uh, you'll notice if you try to run this up, hell, I'll even show you real quick. So, it's very important. Notice what I did there. I saved it as a .bat instead of .txt, but this alone will not work. You have to do save as type dropdown and all files. If you don't do that, it won't save actually as a .bat. In fact, it will save as a .bat.txt. So .bat will just be part of the name. Okay, so at this point you click save. And you notice in this folder we have here for the server, it has this run server.txt uh, file. You can delete that now. You don't need it. So if you were to try to run this, this is what's going to happen. And the reason why that is, is it's trying to access a craftbucket.jar file, but the name of the actual file we downloaded is not just craftbucket. So the easiest way to fix that is just rename this and get rid of all these extra dashes and then enter. So that was a right click by the way to get to the rename. Okay, so now we can load it again and as you can see it's working. Da, 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 da. Alright, cool. So there's a few things in here you're going to want to know still before you leave and please give me the next two minutes or so of your life because this is important information. You're going to want to know it to be a good server owner and not fuck up your files. Sorry for swearing. The most important thing you want to make sure you know is always use your save all and your stop functions when you're done with the server. Never actually shut down the server by clicking this X. This could cause corrupted world files and all sorts of nice and yummy issues that you really don't want to run into. So to do that, it's save dash all. You always do this first, and once it's done, you could type in stop. Okay? And if you add yourself as an op in the ops.txt file, like so, if you had other people, it would just be like this. Okay, if you do that, then they will also have ac access to those commands in-game. You can literally stop and save your game right while you're playing it. You don't have to come back to that screen. Okay, awesome. That's that. But anyways, this here is your RAM allocation. Uh, the one with the S in it is the starting RAM. So if I put like 512, I'm telling it that it could start by loading at least 512 megabytes of my RAM. And if it needs up to 120 or 1024, you could go ahead and use that. You could even set that to G's for gigs too. So if you want, if you had lots and lots of RAM, you know, set it however you like. Now that's that and if you get a java not recognize error you might have to switch this part of the code right here to c semicolon backward slash and then actually type in program files that should be okay though 
Okay, so once you're done editing what you need to edit, just save it up. Now, those changes wouldn't be made until I relaunch the server. Now, here's a few other important things. Server.properties and Hamachi. Here we go. You're also going to need to do this stuff. So if you don't have Hamachi already installed, be sure to go in the link that I'll leave in the description, get that installed, and then what you're going to do here is create a new network, uh, call it whatever you like. This is what your friends will need to be able to join that network and join your server as well. Uh, you can use a port forward method, but I, I recommend not doing it that way. It's not as safe, and you may be vulnerable to computer hacks and attacks and all that fun shit. Alright, so in the server.properties, a few things you're going to need to add is where it says server.ip if for whatever reason when you do the launch.bat and you see failed to bind to port it's rather the IP here is set wrong or you need to actually set it to what's on your Hamachi so for me on the Hamachi it's right here you would set it to those numbers and you'll be good to go okay and everything else here is pretty much straightforward if you want to change what world the server is loading you would change that to the actual folder name of the world you want it to load so if you're bringing in like a backup from a vanilla minecraft game or whatever you can do that and you just change this to whatever the uh, you know the, the name is of the world so other world and it'll load folders called other world so that's pretty much it that's you know important in there so go ahead and save that and once again those changes won't be done until you reload the server okay so if you need more information on logmi and hamachi i have a video just for that be sure to check it out in my channel um, if you need more information on this launch bat i covered a few of the errors that you can encounter on my playlist on the channel be sure to check that out too most of them are tech related but they may relate to bucket as well so you never know and if you have new problems that I haven't covered on my channel, be sure to leave a comment in the section below. I'll try to investigate it for you. Do be patient with me, but I'll do my best. I was going to leave this out, but in, just in case you've never actually joined the server before, once you have everything else set up, you can go into your Minecraft, you know, click on multiplayer, go to add server, and then the name doesn't matter, but use the same IP of whichever Hamachi the server is running on. So if that's just you, then use the same IP that you have here. But if you're joining your friend's server, it has to be their IP, not the one that you see on yours, okay? All right, so for me, in my case, that's 229.69.27 done and play the game as you can see here it's working pretty cool and that is pretty much everything for today um, I don't want to forget I mean there's so many problems I don't want to forget any of them but I also don't want to take a 20 minute you know chunk of your life away so that's gonna be it for today guys be sure to check out this dungeon run video fucking had a blast doing this and I want you guys to see it too if, you, if this video was helpful for you please just do me a favor and check that out alright guys have yourself a great day this has been Magus X peace out